Hey everybody, it's Dawn. Um, this is video number two. Um, I'm, I think I may have forgotten to say in my last video that I'm going to be making quite a few videos um, and I don't exactly know the order of these topics. I'm just going to trust God to speak um, to me about that as the days, day, days go on. I don't know. I have a sense that it'll be uh, quite a few videos in the next, I don't know, maybe three days. Um, so anyway, um, today it was 3.22 p.m. on Saturday, still Saturday, uh, February 2nd, 2019. I made uh, the first video, which is me speaking from my personal experience, um, this morning, uh, somewhere around like 9 or 10 in the morning. Um, and it's uh, uploading. It may be uploaded by now. I need to go check after this one. But um, so I was going to go home and take a shower so I'd look better in this video. <laughs> but um Apparently that was not to be because I got there and like there are people working in my the apartment I rent the bottom half of a house and there are people working there and so I got back in the car and I was like okay I'll run a few errands because I was gonna go home take a shower and then go out by the lake um, so you're gonna have a much prettier view but um, my God was like you know as so I got got back in the car and he was like go to the library and I'm like the library can't make a video. <laughs> about this at the library but he was showing me some things on the way so I'm in the library parking lot and um and you may need to roll these windows up so you don't hear that background noise so I will do that sorry for the freaky video I know I will um work on getting that hopefully I don't burn up it actually so it's been freezing cold here I'm in the south in the United States but um it's been cold here too and then um it's suddenly today it's like whoa I'm wearing this sweater and I'm like burning up. It's another reason I was gonna go home and change clothes and go sit by the lake, but here I am. Okay, so today's video, uh, it's gonna be a little bit um, just stream of consciousness what I received to give you. So first off, um, this um, this is again, if this video does not resonate with you, do not listen to it. Um, and this is only for a, a segment of um, those called to divine partnership, sacred partnership, who know that they are here to be a part of ushering in a revolution of love. If you don't know that, then this is definitely not for you. Um, but um, we've had some um, shifts in terms of uh, the overarching energetic patterns um, to this dynamic, um, and they were decisive. Um, and... Uh, it's something that I think I spoke to this this morning that, you know, like I saw um, as a possibility a, a while back. I do not, I cannot speak, there are other people out there who can speak to the specific mechanics to all this. I can't speak to that. I don't know. Um, that's not my, that's not my area. Um, but what I will say is that um, it's very apparent to me that um, for those of us who are, um, uh, are affected um, by this. We, well, first of all, we're all affected. All of humanity is affected by this. It's 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 huge. It's vast. It's um, it's important. Um, and and time is certainly of the essence. And I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to roll these back down. It's gonna be too hot otherwise. Um, I don't know um, what the outcome is. What's next or anything else. But. Um, so today, at this in this video, I think what I'd like to share is that there is um, in the written record that we have. Um, so for one, I am most familiar with the um, Bible and Christianity. That's my tradition, as many of you know. Um, and um, that being said, I am no scholar, no expert. Um, but in 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 my understanding, we've been living, you know, we've been living what is written, um, and and what some of us, uh, you know, resonate with so powerfully because we have lived it, um, and uh, there have been many iterations. Okay, it's not one thing. You know, when I was growing up in in churches like um, the Book of Revelation, so I was in a fairly uh, mainstream. Um, 
but uh, evangelical, but you know, mainstream evangelical, and then and then more liberal on in, you know in terms of that evangelical tradition. But um, but when I was growing up, so it's like you know you saw there were three interpretations of even when I have a seminary degree and when I went to seminary, it was like there were you know three interpretations of the Book of Revelation. I was always like, wait a second, you guys don't know the half of it. Um, so what I want to say is that. Um, so for me, it's just me, um, um, I have been seeing flashes of um, the, and I have not referred deliberately, I have not referred to the, the book yet because I want to speak pure um, what I've been given, and, and then I will share more as I'm given more, and I will go uh, take a look at this. Um, if it doesn't resonate again, it's not for you. Um, but I have been, um, in the last uh, week or so, uh, called back to the central um, chapters of the book of Revelation um, in particular, and, and again, I don't even know the specific references here, but uh, take a look at whatever happens um, prior to the seventh trumpet sounding, um, and I will do the same, and I may discuss this further, or I may not, um, but that has been particularly resonant, it's a funny word, resonant sound, uh, sound is huge right now, um, again, it's a way for us to tune into the um, the, the frequencies, so even the sound of the traffic behind me and the sound of the bird that was just flying by. I don't know if you, you guys heard that. Um, and this, and then there are the, the, uh, so, the songbirds as well in the background. There was a, some sort of, I don't know if it was a hawk or something, a, a, a cry. Um, I, I believe those sounds are speaking to us, um, and and right now for me, this is very connected to this experience that I personally am going through, and I believe many of you um, who feel called to this video may as well. And so um, the sounds are, are reminders. Um, they are awakenings themselves. And if we, if we open our hearts to receive fully um, the, the, the resonance of what is there for us. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. It's like a, uh, for my battery is at 47%. And I may have to go into the library to recharge before this is all over. Um, and uh, it's 3.33 p.m. and I'm at um, 7.03 um, minutes. Um, so just as uh, we can receive signs um, through uh, through sight and through, you know, synchronicities and that sort of thing. Sound feels especially important to me in my experience right now. Um, the trumpet sounding. So the trumpets, uh, they're, I can't even tell you the number of times that's come up. I'm not particularly a trumpet person, um, but that um, idea of trumpets um, has come up in a movie I was watching in a remembrance of um, something related to my divine counterpart and in a, um, a book I was reading and also uh, in a conversation, a random conversation at a store where somebody's talking about trumpets, all seem to be related to the seven trumpets sounding in the book of Revelation. I need to go back and look at what the symbolism is there because at the moment that's not coming to me. One of the the things that I, I really do wish was different personally is that I used to really have a sharp mind, a sharp intellect, and I, I've lost a lot of that. Um, in my own journey, and I feel it will be restored at some point, but it, it's that's why you hear me stumbling often, and it's why it sounds like I sort of have the half half of the picture. It's true, I do, um, from a human perspective, only have the pieces I'm given, but I trust that those pieces are like breadcrumbs, and, um, and for me um, to further integrate and comprehend, and that's my, my role, that's all of our roles, is to further um, integrate what we are given on our individual journeys and then to allow that to inform, to be in formation with that and to allow that to inform who we are um, and how we are showing up in uh, all of the various um, the various circumstances in which we find ourselves, many of which appear to be random but are not. So the book of Revelation and in particular the middle chapters and look at the seven trumpets um, and something about there's some urgency here about, you know, like before the, the seventh trumpet sounds. 
I am not certain at this point if that has to do with all of us or just something that I need to look at. So maybe I'll share more of that um, as we go forward. So let's see. Um, I want to speak again. I've tried so many times to articulate this and I'm like, no, not again. <laughs> but um, this morning when I was making that video, Jesus was like, you know, you need to speak again. So I'm going to attempt one more time to, um, and maybe maybe it's going to be more than once, but um, to talk about, um, you know, something when Yeshua was teaching here on earth, he often uh, would, would, pull in these, weave into these stories, these examples of, you know, this thing and that thing, two of which seemed opposite, polar opposites. And he would talk about the reconciliation of those and that they are one thing and they are held in one. And this also touches on um, Eastern philosophies. And, you know, what many people in the West seem to miss is that um, Yeshua very much um, was um, learned from that tradition as well as, of course, he was a Jew um, and a, he was the Lion of Judah and he was um, uh, well immersed in that tradition um, and in, um, in those, uh, those streams of wisdom. Um, so when he spoke in, in many of the parables that we have and in many of the records that uh, have not been um, included in uh, what, you know, what was put forth um, as, as the sacred text um, in Christianity anyway. Um, in many of those, you know, we see him speaking about what seeming contradictions um, and seeming opposites and trying to get through to those he spoke to that it is the one thing um, in which all are held in perfect balance. And, and so um, a few years ago when... Um, I was given, you know, these 33 um, symbols, um, I call them C symbols, S-E-A, soul essence art symbols. I was just kind of given these sim symbols over the course of, and I'm like, oh, what do I do with these? You know, this is like the story of my life. Like, okay, I'm given all this stuff and I don't know what to do with it. Um, but I put it in a little coloring book and I called it Energetic Perspectives. Um, and uh, it's available on Amazon if you want to find it there. And, and um, all I knew it was that each one was an activation, a soul activation of a uh, stream of consciousness, a stream of awareness, um, a, a seed, a seed for life. Um, and life is an acronym I use for living in full expression. So it's, it was a little seed um, activation to assist us in connecting to greater um, a healing and a return to wholeness and then a reconciliation of the whole of who we are. Um, this is very important right now for each one of us to um, adhere to um, the practices that support us in returning to wholeness and balance, inner, an inner sacred union of the divine feminine and divine masculine aspects or the, the, the two poles of experience, if you will. And and when I was given these symbols, and um, they were they were jumping off points of you know assisting us in reconciling various um, perspectives that appear to be contradictory. So this is what we're facing in the world right now. There are perspectives that appear to be contradictory. And as long as we continue to react to them or to fight over and against something or to raise our flag about our particular position or viewpoint or bash another's, then we are caught up in a continual game of ping pong. And there is no point to that. The key is right now for us to find a way to, hold, to widen the lens, why broaden the perspective. There's, you know, make a room for all perspectives and then to begin to dance and move with that in, in a much um, more beautiful ebb and flow of inner energy and um, to see ourselves not as, not as, 
other than and and um, and separate from not as I am this and you are that I spoke a little bit to that my own experience of that this morning um, it's the, the key is for us to as Jesus was trying to teach at least I believe this he it was he was trying to show us that that there's a bigger something much much greater at play here that it wasn't just about this limited who's right and who's wrong and and uh which which uh which one is greater um and all of the things that we are so consumed with myself included on this on this uh human journey here and so um I think what I what I want to you know what I'm trying to convey is that there is an opportunity, but the window is closing on that opportunity, and um, not primarily to, to this audience. I am speaking about um, the particular way in which we have engaged with what we were doing here, which is this uh, path of sacred partnership with a particular individual who um, there was a uh, primarily um, the divine feminine, as, as I understand it, was activated first. Really, that was my experience. Um, and then, um, and, and there was a, but the, the dance is always between us, right? The movement, the flow is between us. And um, there's an opportunity for, um, for us to, um, see that from even those of us who are well aware that this is about some, something much greater than um, a, um, an individual relationship, um, there's an opportunity for us to, to finally um, touch that and see that, um, you know, from a much broader perspective and to, as we are releasing that in many ways, um, to be lifted by it. I don't know if that's going to make sense. Okay, so equally, this is what's happening in the world right now. Okay, so it's not just, it's again, it's not just this narrow channel of one thing. Um, just as in politics, it's not, it's short-sighted to think it's just about who's, you know, whose viewpoint is correct. That misses the boat entirely, entirely. It literally is like a slice of the, uh, not even a pie, it's a slice of a sphere that is like so minuscule in terms of what is actually happening and sphere doesn't even begin to touch it, right? Because there's all the sacred geometry on top of that and and um, I, I again, my, not my area of expertise, but I do know that, that right, what is happening right now um, and not, you know, not just in any one realm, not just in the political sphere, not just in this particular journey that you and I um, have um, known and experienced ourselves and each other through, not, you know, not just the, you know, other relationship dynamics in our world, not just your work environment, not just education, not just health, not just all the sectors that are out there, um, religion and, and uh, so not just family. It's, it's, we've We've got, we've got to open up to a new energetic perspective that allows for the unknown. This is where, you know, people who speak to uh, quantum physics and quantum mechanics um, and, and those who understand those sorts of things have are our teachers and that they can offer us um, new insights but it's not about understanding up here all of this and mastering it in terms of the knowledge it's about opening up in here in our hearts to the actual operation of those quantum sorts of um, dynamics and energetic perspectives so um feels like i'm jumping around a, a bit so jesus and um his view and, and his his what he was seeking to teach us about um the holding of it all is really critical right now um for our world um, mentioned uh, Revelation, which I'll take a look at at some point, maybe share more about. 
um, and also the the idea of sound this library thing <laughs> okay again out of my depth of field here but what I'm being shown and what I understand to be true is that there is a wealth of resources some of which are hidden in plain sight for us for this time for right now and the key to opening up that storehouse of wisdom is to step into the portal of truth that can only be entered as we set aside everything we thought we knew. Now this is true again within this uh, the path of, of sacred partnership and, and those of us who have understood it to be one thing. Um, and, and it has been that thing. Um, it's not like we got it wrong. It's just that um, there's, it's always shifting. It's always changing. And this living library um, hidden in plain sight, um, what, I, what I see, um, and it's, it's funny because I hadn't actually thought of the word library until they led me to the library to, <laughs> to parking lot to make this video. Um, but this, this living ri uh, library um, so to speak, it's it's all around us, okay? It's in the sound, it's in nature, it's in the skies, it's in the stars, it's in us. And being open and aligning ourselves with those streams of wisdom which many of us have feared in the past that is the way and uh, I want to correct what I just said not aligning ourselves with any one uh, tradition or stream of wisdom but rather stepping into a place of curiosity and love and allowing for not just learning a peer knowledge about a new perspective, but rather allowing the experience to be what it is as we are moving through it with the ebbs and flows, with the changes, with the, I was looking at clouds last night, cloud formation. So yesterday was Saturday, today, no, today's Saturday. Yesterday's Friday, the um, 1st of February. So immediately felt the fresh energy of February, but equally I was going through sort of like this, um, what I discussed this morning, 22, 22. Um, this, this morning um, in terms of my own, um, you know, I don't even know what to call it. Is it disappointment? Is it grief? Is it sadness? Is it joy? Is it, It's all of it, right? That's another example of what I'm trying to articulate here. It is no one thing, it is all things. So I think I'm going to um, go ahead and, and stay with that, and I will be back for a new video soon.